the epistle of St. Paul to the Galatians chapter 4. Christ has freed us from the servitude of the law. We are the freeborn sons of Abraham. Now I say, as long as the heir is a child, he differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed by the Father. So we also, when we were children, were serving under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, that he might redeem them who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Therefore now he is not a servant, but a son, and if a son, an heir also through gold, but then indeed, not knowing gold, you serve them who by nature are not gold. But now, after that you have known gold, or rather are known by gold, I'll turn you again to the weak and needy elements which you desire to serve again. You observe days and months and times and years. I am afraid of you, lest perhaps I have labored in vain among you. Be ye as I, because I also am as you, brethren, I beseech you, you have not injured me at all, and you know how, through infirmity of the flesh, I preach the gospel to you heretofore, and your temptation in my flesh you despise not nor rejected but received me as an angel of gold even as christ jesus where is then your blessedness for i bear you witness that if i could be done you would have plucked out your own eyes and would have given them to me. Am I then become your enemy because I tell you the truth? They are zealous in your regard, not well. They would exclude you that you might be zealous for them. But be zealous for that which is good in a good thing 
always and not only when I am present with you, my little children, of whom I am in labor again, until Christ be formed in you. And I would willingly be present with you now and change my voice because I am ashamed for you. Tell me you that desire to be under the law. Have you not read the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondwoman and the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born according to the flesh, but he of the free woman was by the promise. Which things are said by an allegory, for these are the two testaments, the one from Mount Sinai, engendering unto bondage, which is Agar, for Sina is a mountain in Arabia, which hath affinity to that Jerusalem, which now is, and is in bondage with her children. But that Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is our mother, for it is written, Rejoice thou, barren, that bearest not, break forth and cry, thou that travailest not, for many are the children, of the desolate, more than of her that had the husband. Now we brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born according to the flesh persecuted him, that was after the spirit, so also it is now. But what saith? the scripture cast out the bondwoman and her son for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the sons of the free woman so then brethren we are not the children of the bondwoman but of the free by the freedom wherewith christ has